Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropical 4 in the Modern Times campaign. Right, well, things are still going forward. Slowly, but they are going. Now let's add some more cubicles. Alright. Just need a little bit more income. From whatever source I can get. Oh, thank you. That's actually quite helpful. Alright, let's get some infrastructure going then. to leave here at least some of the problems. And that we have finally got some decent input coming in into, into the car factory, we should be selling much more reliably. Babel Tower has been unlocked. What does that do again? Uh, it's kind of expensive for what I want to do. It would instantly finish this particular thing, but... Oh, that's right, I forgot to do this. We are slowly but surely turning into the China of the Caribbean. Now well, that's one problem solved. All right, let's get another business center going then. I need some more Swiss bank account money, and uh, since we're making enough money at the moment, right, let's also get the metro stations all finished. And I need to improve the healthcare on the island. Building a fucking bloody cannery. You can fish your own damn seas. Right, let's slow down the incoming number of people again. Yeah, I'm certain I have the space for them, but most of my apartments seem to be full at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, plenty of open housing slots, but I'm willing to bet that's mostly ten uh, tenements. Right, let's finish this particular apartment block then.
Reports are coming in that people are disappearing underground. I knew it. Huge underground military facilities where scientists are conducting tests on people and hiding proof of alien life. Good guess, Sunny. Actually, they are stuck in the metro, as we have not built their destination station yet. Hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I don't really have this thing. The thing is, these upgrades, I believe, are mutually exclusive. So, what would be best for me? I'll just take the hybrid line. I want to start getting my electronics factory going anyway. Right, so I need at least one more tower like that, and then another one just to make sure that I have enough uh, workers. That's doable. But first, more solar panels. Oh, that's not good. No! My son. Stop asking me to do dumb things, Father Esteban. And people are dying from lack of healthcare, I think. Even less good. We're probably gonna need a sanatorium then. Alright, how many people do I have? I have some unemployed people. It is definitely time for some... Tourism. Right, so which beach can I exploit the best? Preferably somewhere close to my living center. Uh, this'll do. It's not the greatest beach ever, but it'll do. Alright, tourist dock. A garage. And let's get a hotel. Oop, no, 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 no. Just... Let's just start with one hotel. Yeah, no need for speech. Still easily gonna crush the competition. Let's just focus on what needs to be done. Yay! Very good. Not sure I'm gonna get much for an aid regardless of what I'm doing here, so... About doubling it anyway. Yeah, I may have to build a cigarette. I'm not gonna demolish buildings that are... You are just impossible people. Yeah, I would love to build a cigarette. It's just so darn expensive. 
And now Europe wants money. Hmm. Alright. I need more housing. And more farms. Because I'm gonna start running out of food sometime very soon. My dear president. Alright, let's get the tourism industry actually working. Yay! Victory is mine. A new rehab facility just opened its doors for all of you depressed people. Isn't it just wonderful to be depressed in tropical? The Conclave's telecom is reacting to our attempts to take a piece of their market. They've released a new mobile game named Evil Organization Simulator. Worst of all, they made the game free for every Tropican, and now everyone on the island is playing it. We need to start developing our own game, Angry Toucans, as soon as possible. Perhaps Penultimo can find a destitute game developer who's willing to work for bananas. I mean, Tropico money. I have found him! Our game developer. His name is Lord Scott, and he comes all the way from Europe. He says that our game must have realistic graphics, a huge open world, and one-to-one -one user interaction. I'm sure that he knows what he's doing. He's a lord, after all. He has one condition, however. He wants us to build him a real-life castle. I don't think our construction workers know how to build a castle, Presidente, but perhaps a nice mansion will do. Uh, I'm sure it will. The first and only time I'll actually ever build a mansion. But hey. Some sacrifices need to be made for the greater good of Tropico. Alright, so now we can have that all going. Let's get some more hotels. A balloon ride. Tour office. And a souvenir shop. And of course some beaches. Beaches. 
Right. The worldwide sales of our mobile game, Angry Toucans, are not too hot. That's bad stuff, mate. When it became a hit in Tropico, the international audience is disappointed by the lack of actual Toucans in the game. I told Lord Scott Bloke that a game named Angry Toucans should have at least some Toucans in it, but he just wouldn't listen. Stupid Drongo. There's only one way to fix the pool sales. We have to put a live Toucan in every game box so that people will stop complaining. <laughs> Start packing those toucans, mate. Construct two zoo buildings in order to breed enough toucans. <laughs> oh, the mission is ridiculous and stupid, but the joke is well enough received. Presidente, I just received a letter from an old Yankee woman. She's complaining that her telephone has been fried to a crisp. I don't know what she was expecting after putting it in her microwave. The woman claims this is our fault, as there is no warning in her manual against using the phone in a microwave. Worst of all, she's threatening to sue us if we don't give her $30,000 as compensation for the psychological damage she has sustained. If we lose the case, we might end up owing her even more money, Presidente. I don't give in to threats made by old ladies. I'll set the restrictions down. Record temperatures today. Everyone is rushing to cool off in the ocean. Farmers are worried about the fate of the crops, and the weather ahead is predicted to be extremely sunny and hot. Just like you, my dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, let's see the zoo. That's one. Magnificent. Well, that's the first thing. I actually don't have enough happiness. What are people complaining about? Religion quality. All right, fine. Let's finish the Diamond Cathedral. It's about time anyway. It's actually finished. Still money coming in. Good, good. Tally ho, old boy. The riffraff back home are on my back again. No, I don't need that. Might as well try to export some logs. It's a cheap enough industry. Our internet police uncovered valuable information, President. Or it may be some internet geek trolling them. Who knows? They claim a rebel attack against an organic ranch on our island is expected to commence in six months. Let us plan accordingly. And we will do that next time. <laughs> 